for better or for worse, I, there's, there's a lot of great uh, personal philosophy, a lot of bad things also, including the Godfather. And uh, one of those is, as we know, uh, Tom, Robert Ball's character, with Sonny after his, after uh, Marlon Brando's character was gunned down in the street and said, you know, Sonny, it's, it's not personal, it's business. And um, I, I had to sort of learn that a lot. Uh, I got a call the other day from a good friend of mine. She's, she's a liberal, I'm a conservative, we've been fighting about politics since high school. Uh, but we work a lot on uh, a lot of issues together. Um, and she was, of course, watching MSNBC and said, well, they mentioned you by name, and they're making you sound like a racist, and whatever you're saying, you've got to stop saying that. And the first time somebody called me that was when I was on the city council. I was uh, about 30 years old, and I was devastated that someone would say that. That, how, you know, if they didn't do anything about my background, Growing up, the clients I represent, the churches that I represent, my mom, and all that. And, and what I realized after a while was though those folks were trying to achieve a particular result, trying to get me to do something different. And that's essentially what is happening with this, these charges of voter suppression. They're trying to achieve a particular result. They're trying to win elections by keeping us from doing the things that Chairman DeVillis and we all are trying to do, which is clarify these elections, uh, election law, uh, create clarity in the law so we don't have federal judges determining what the law is, we don't have federal judges determining the outcomes of elections, and the more clarity in the law, the less chance that that's going to happen, and that's really what these, these series of bills are about. So I, I don't take personal offense when um, members of the minority claim that we're trying to suppress voters um, because it's just business. They're trying to win elections by keeping us from making reforms because it's good for them. But we also have to understand why they're doing it. Allowing somebody four weeks before the election to vote, allowing them to mail in their ballot, making it clear how you register, all the things you have to do is not voter suppression. And yeah, it's, it's hard for me to even get the phrase out without chuckling a little bit. Um, and, and at some point, I, I understand that if you, if you watch Chris Matthews and, you know, he says all these things that, wow, it sounds like something really bad, but if folks take the time to look what's, what are in these bills and understand what's in here, you know, most rational, reasonable people are going to say, oh yeah, that's, that makes sense that you would do it that way. So I, I'm, you know, I'm glad that Chairman Devella has stayed the course on this issue, and, and I, I don't suspect that, no, regardless of what we do, there will be a narrative of voter suppression as, as ridiculous as that narrative is. Um, and uh, so I, I, I thanks, really, I appreciate uh, Chairman Devella staying the course on these things. These are, uh, especially when there isn't a lot of. I shouldn't say it. Actually, there is, there happens a lot of positive input from some members of the committee and certainly some of these coalition groups that uh, the chairman just mentioned. As we just said, that's why we voted the bill today because the ACLU hasn't changed. So, so thanks everybody for coming. I don't know whether members have comments or not. Okay. Quick question for.